Hi guys, this is Simeon from Swedish Homestead. Today I want to talk about what gardening bed is the best one. This is something we have been struggling with for many years. Should we have gardening beds at all? Or what size should they be? Uh, should they be raised beds or not? So I want to just share with you guys real quick um, why we use these kind of gardening beds and what they are. Many of you guys know the Back to Eden film, the gardening documentary where Paul Gauci uh, made really the layering wood chips on top of the gardening method popular. And um, you, if you have seen his videos, you see that he doesn't have garden beds. He just has um, an area that's about as big as this. You can see it on the camera right now. But I've been able to visit him and, and he covers his whole garden and he plants rows into it. We have been selling vegetables for the past three years and have been trying to find a good way to um, make this work. For a while we actually did what Paul Gauci did. We just layered everything on here. But I never seemed to get a hang of it. You know, when you set, started to work you couldn't say, you know what, I'll just cover three beds now and I'll take a break or um, you know you, you didn't have this bed salad that bed broccoli and, and so on it just made it um, a little complicated there were no clear borders no clear places where you could weed or not I didn't like it too much um, my mom my mom has used garden beds her whole life and um, some people are also into raised garden beds what we do right now is we copy basically the size of garden bed from Elliot Coleman and I was inspired by Richard Perkins and Richdale Permaculture, a farm here in Sweden. We use our gardening beds now 75 centimeters wide and the walkways in between that I'm standing on right now is about 25 to 30 centimeters so that a walkway with a bed could fit on one meter. And the reason for this is, well first of all I really like this width. You can reach everything from every side you have all these small walk paths so you can be in between the rows and then um, there are lots of tools, gardening tools today that are made for both hobby people, semi-professionals and professionals that cover this width exactly a rake, a, a cedar, um, a broad fork and so I'm really excited about this this is the width that we are going to use from now on and um, I'm right now turning my whole garden into these kind of rows. I'm going to show this to you guys in a, middle, in a little bit. Now my problem here is that I have planted rows of garlic here before. Um, this was last fall. You guys remember the video actually where I did that. And I didn't um, know about this size and the garden tools yet for this size bed. And so I didn't plant in the right... Um, I didn't plant in these beds, I didn't plant in the right distance and all of that. So I kind of have to try to find where the garlic is starting to peak up through the soil now here in March in Sweden and, and, and see if I can fit the rows and the walkways the right way. And it's not that easy, but I hope I can do this. Then we have a gardening area down there we'll, where we will have about 20 more no, excuse me, I think 40 more of these gardening beds because they're going to be 10 meters long. So I think we're going to have um, 40 more of these gardening beds. Here we are probably going to have about 20 of them. And um, we're going to try to grow a bunch of vegetables. But let me show you how I set them up right now. So as you can see here, I have put these ropes here just to mark it. There's 30 centimeters in between them where I put the wood chips this is going to be the walkway and in between here it's 75 centimeters this is where the garden beds are going to be I'm going to broad fork them I don't have a broad fork I'm just going to use my normal gardening fork and then um, I'm just I just um, used my rake and pulled the compost or the, the soil in to the gardening beds and made a little path here a little area where I can put the wood chips so I don't really have to worry about weeds here at all, just 
layer um, probably about 10 to 15 centimeters, four to six inches of wood chips here in this gar on this walking path. And um, then I have all these beds that I can just take care of. Wow guys, look at this. You know what I see? Chicken feed. This is a huge larva. going to be the next walkway now and here's going to be garden mat in there so the compost I've layered on here in the previous years I'll just layer it now on top of the beds from each side like this and like this and then the walkways are one exact width of my garden rake here so I'll go through like this and then I'll fill this up with um with wood chips now when i'm done with that i will broad fork these garden beds here many of you guys have probably heard about the tool the broad fork i don't have one they are not easy to get here in sweden you can't buy them um, i'm gonna order mine from germany eventually but for right now if you don't have much money and if you just need to um, accomplish the same task you can use one of these standard forks and um, basically what you want to do is to aerate the soil without turning it, without breaking the structure. So this works great. Let me go where you can see on the camera and then I show you what I do with the garden bed. Just lift it up like this. It's not turning it, it's just aerating it. Now here was one row of garlic planted so I won't be aerating there. Just a little bit like this on the side. Do not want to disturb this um, but th this way you can just add oxygen and stuff to the soil very beneficial and you can create more room for your vegetables and and their roots i hope you enjoyed this video me um, sharing what i think is a good gardening bed maybe the best one because it fits the tool size and it's very easy to handle and it's not a race bed that dries out quickly. I'm really looking forward to this and I'm looking forward to seeing lots of vegetables planted in these beds and hopefully you'll be able to witness that if you join the channel and subscribe. So thanks for watching, see you soon, bye bye.